Hi, my name is Marjorie Main, and this is for healthcare economics class for Southern New Hampshire State University. The childhood obesity epidemic demands everyone's attention. Obesity is the most significant public health challenge our nation faces at this time because of the number of people who are obese or overweight and the ripple effects of obesity that has on the development of debilitating and costly chronic diseases. During the past four decades, childhood obesity rates in America have quadrupled, and today more than 23.5 million children and youth in America, nearly that is nearly one in three, are overweight or obese. Uh, furthermore, significant disparities exist. For example, more than 39% of Hispanic youth and black youth ages 2 to 19 are overweight or obese, compared with about 28% of white youth. Communities with high levels of poverty and lower education levels are significantly less likely to have places where people can be physically active, such as parks, green spaces, and bike path lanes. If we don't reverse this epidemic of obesity, our children are in danger of becoming the first generation of Americans who, are, who live sicker and die younger than their parents' generation. Um, by reversing this epidemic of childhood obesity, we will make our nation healthier, save countless lives, increase economic productivity for the next generation of American workers, and ease the tremendous financial strain, strain on our health care system caused by the obesity-related illnesses. The latest research shows that the environments in which we live and the public policies that local leaders enact directly impact the foods of our children, eat, and how much physical activity they get. When the schools have healthy foods and beverages in their cafeterias and vending machines, students eat better. When communities have parks and bike trails in their neighborhoods and vigorous physical education programs in their schools, children are more active. When neighborhoods have supermarkets and farmer markets, farmers markets that sell affordable, healthy foods, families eat more nutritiously. But when communities are dominated by fast food chains with few places to play, our children eat worse and are less active, and their health suffers, and we all pay a price in higher health care costs and less economic productivity. We need to invest in disease prevention. The benefits are broadly shared. When children grow up in communities, homes and families that nurture their healthy development, they can become productive and healthy adults. Business benefits from businesses benefit from investing in disease prevention because a healthier workforce can reduce long-term health care costs and increase stability and productivity. Furthermore, communities that offer a healthy, productive, and stable workforce can be more attractive places for families to live and for businesses to locate. Everyone has a role to play to increase opportunities for healthy living and to reduce childhood obesity, including parents, leaders from all levels of government, schools, healthcare professionals, faith-based and community-based organizations, and private sector companies. Our involvement in building healthy communities will ensure a healthy future for our children. Many policy options can help prevent and reduce childhood obesity. Some of the reported policies enacted or adopted by state legislatures in 2013 are classified by the policy approaches, such as body mass index or student fitness screening um, at school, diabetes screening and management at school, joint or cooperative use agreements for school facilities, physical activity or physical, physical education in schools, and school recess le legislation, to name a few. Thank you.